Okay, this is the brownie lab. And here are the brownies. I hope these show up nicely. Here's the balance. I'm gonna be cutting pieces out of the brownie with these. And I'll be putting pieces on the um, pan for later consumption. So I hope you can see everything here. I'll be writing the data down and showing you this occasionally. And when I'm all done, I will also take a picture of this and put it somewhere. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to figure out how to calculate the density of these brownies. Density is mass divided by volume. So we're going to get the mass for these brownies. I'm gonna start by putting this pan in this balance and my initial mass is 1,290.9. 1,290.9 grams. Now, we're gonna measure the length, width, and height of these brownies. To measure the height of the brownies, I'm going to stick this little spatula in and figure out the height of these brownies. It's right there. So then I'm going to take this and figure out that our brownies are 1.6, I'm gonna go 1.62 centimeters. Our height is 1.62 centimeters. Now I did that in the middle, so it's probably not the greatest average height, but I'm not gonna do it again here. But our height is going to be the same for every trial. We're gonna take that as the height for every trial. I just apologize if you can't see this, but I'll make sure you can later. And I think I'm gonna have seven trials. Okay, now, I'm going to carefully remove, uh, oh, I gotta get my, I almost forgot to do the rest of it here. That would have been tragic. I'm going to get the, um, I'm gonna call this my width. I don't know if I can get this up here for you to see. I'm gonna write it down anyway. And I'm going to hold this so I can see that it's at the end of my brownies. And this is going to be 21, 21.5. And I'm not even going to pretend I can get any closer than that. 21.5 centimeters. And my length will be this way. And let's see if we can get this set up here. This is right where that is. I'm looking straight onto here. This is 31. I'm going to call it 31.4 centimeters. Now neither of those are read to the correct number of sig figs, um, but I just went with this tenth because I am measuring a little ways away, I'm not getting a good look. I can't get this uh, meter stick inside my pan to get a, a more accurate reading. Okay, so there we have our first set of data. Now I can finish getting this piece out. I'm trying to do a very straight cut here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a piece of this brownie. And if you were here doing this in class and we were finished, everybody would be eating a little bit of brownie. Everybody who wanted some would be eating brownie. Who knows, in these days of COVID, we're probably not allowed to do this anymore. Okay. So I have moved, moved a strip, removed a strip of brownie. Now, when you're looking at this, you can see that my, the only measurement that's changed is my measurement. just crashed to the ground.
Okay, this is still going. Sorry about that. My iPad crashed to the ground. Crazy. Anyway, here is this. I've taken this out. Now I'm going to try to set this over here where it can't go crashing to the ground quite as easily. That's top my balance right there. And I'm going to get another measurement right here. That was crazy. I'm not making another pan of brownies though. And my new length is going to be 26.3 centimeters. 26.3 centimeters. And I still have 21.5 as my width. Now we're going to put this on our balance. And my new mass is 1185.3. 1185.3. So there are my data. That's the data so far. Okay. We have two sets of data. Not very good for doing our calculations yet, but now I'm going to take out another line, and now that I'm holding this, I'm trying to cut this with one hand. Usually we have a couple students, at least two students come up and do this. One writing data, one cutting the brownies and measuring that, and one weighing. Okay. Now, there's this. I cut another piece of that out. I'm going to hold this right on the end so I can see that that is lined up with the end of my brownies. And this side, if I look straight down on it, coming back over here, I'm going to go 23.0. Twenty three point zero. This is still twenty one point five. And now let's get our new mass. One zero eight eight. It's fluctuating a little bit. One zero eight eight. I don't know why this is moving around. I must have a little breeze in here. One zero eight eight. I'm going to go 1088.7. 1088.7. Okay. Now it's time to take our next piece out. And again, I'm trying to do this with one hand while I'm holding this iPad, which fell down. Thank goodness it still works. I'd be doing a much nicer job of this if I had both hands available. But I only made one pan of brownies, so we're stuck with these. Okay, so now our brownie pan is getting emptier. And we're going to hold this. Actually, this is easier for me to see if I can hold this right there. Right there, and move this over. And I'm going to call that 18.6. 18.6. Now let's get another mass. And our mass is 988 point. Boy, this is really fluctuating. I wonder if our balance is wearing out. 988 point, let's go five. 988.5. Whoops, I wrote that. I wrote this one in the wrong place. That 18.6 should be right here. This should be 21.5. Okay. Where did this? Now it's time to take another one out.
There we go. Oh, that one came out a nice big chunk here. Get this out. Get this out. And we have a lot of really messy. Oh, I just ate a little piece. That part isn't quite as straight. I did my other ones very straight. This one wasn't quite as straight. Let me see here. Good. And I'm going to go. Thirteen point zero. Thirteen point zero. Twenty-one point five. And let's get another mask. Eighty-eight four point two. Eighty-eight four point two. Okay. So we've got five here. Where am I? I'm going to pay a little closer attention to try to go straight this time. Here's me cutting the brownies, if you can see. Look at this big plate full of brownies right there. Un poorly cut brownies. See that huge plate of brownies? Amazing. So there's this now. Let's get another measurement. And we're going to start right where is it? That looks good. And 9.5. 9.5. Nine point five, twenty one point five, and now we need a mass. Seven eight eight four point two. Seven eighty four point three. Seven eighty four point three. Okay. And I'm gonna do one more here. So now we don't have much brownie left in here. And let me see if I can hold this up here. I don't have anything heavy enough to hold this. Oh, I've got another old balance right here that I was going to do another lab on. Doing labs in the kitchen today. That might work. There. Don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, because it was behind me. And getting this brownie out of here. Mmm. I'm going to eat this piece right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So that's all the brownie I have left. We're going to stick this meter stick right here. Let me get going here. There we go. And boy, that looks like right around 5.0. Let's try 5.0. 5.0. 5.0. 5.0. And the mass of the pan is. 670, moving again here, might have to clean this up a little bit, 670.0, let's go 670.0, I'm going to go 7, 670.7. Okay, and that one is 21.5. And I think that's about the end of where we're going to go. Okay. So we have 
seven pieces of data here, that, or seven sets, seven trials that we can use. There are the trials. Hope you can read that. I will keep this. Mmm, looks delicious. Mmm, looks like a mess, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. And I hope I got all these. Sorry, I crashed this to the ground. <laughs>